to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning, good morning guys we are here at the pilot still where we slept last night. Yeah. We are just getting out of here. My seat is squealing today. I need to get it greased one of these days. Yeah, and as you can probably see, it's been raining overnight. Yeah, it really has. decided to look at the fuel prices on my uh, phone app there before I uh, would fuel up, you know, and good thing I did, because uh, an hour down the road, there is a, another Continue pilot up there, for 128 miles. and that one is in uh, Alabama already, and the fuel is a lot cheaper over there. I think up here it was like uh, 220 something. It was almost 230 or something like that. And uh, up there in Alabama it's like 217. So it'll be a lot cheaper up there. So I figured, well, then we will wait to go fuel up over there. I think it was like almost 10 cents uh, a gallon cheaper or something like that. So. That definitely pays for uh, waiting to uh, go over there to fuel up, you know. Yeah. yeah. My wife was telling me last night that uh, apparently there's supposed to be a hurricane up here somewhere. I'm like, okay, I uh, hadn't heard nothing yet, so I don't know. I, she was uh, talking about more about in Texas where it supposedly is uh, going to be bad weather. So hopefully we won't get hit with that hurricane since we are going to be right on the ocean that would, uh, would be a high possibility that we could get hit, right? Our fingers crossed that that doesn't happen but we're not going to worry about too much if it hits us it hits us and if it doesn't it doesn't it's just the way it goes yep look at this we're coming up to Jack Daniels factory well if you don't know what Jack Daniels is it is a whiskey company or a rum company whatever you want to call it Yep, it says next exit left on Highway 64. Tours 9 to 4.30 Central Standard Time. So you can actually go there and take tours over that plant. So this is where they make the Jack. Daniels Rom or whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Anyways, thanks for uh, checking us out today. Uh, riding along with us. Let's see what we can show you today. Hopefully we can make it interesting for you guys. So let's uh, have ourselves a fantastic day. Well guys, we are just about to enter Alabama. Yeah. I like it. Look at the weird rock formation up here to the right. Yeah, that looks weird. Anyways, it's 
uh, it's hilly up here, that's for sure. Welcome to Sweet Home Alabama. Look at that. That's a nice welcome sign. I like that. <laughs> that's nice. There you go. Home Sweet Alabama. That's right. I believe that was a country uh, star that sang that. Home Sweet Alabama. That's a nice song. I like that song. Yep. Then the rain has dissipated. It looks like starting to clear off. And so far, we have had no wind yet. No hurricane yet. That's good. Lights on when rain. Okay, I have my lights on no matter what. But I. I, I at night, I turn the headlights off, but the running lights are almost always on. I like lights. I don't know what it is about it, but I like having my lights on at night. I just think it looks good when I'm at the truck stop. A lot of trucks have their chicken lights on, you know. They call them chicken lights. I think that looks beautiful. Ah, look at that! We're going to be passing by that uh, NASA rocket ship again. I can see it up there already. No, we're not going to be stopping in there this time. But we're going to go by it. Yeah, look at that. I mean, we just literally got on the road there not that long ago. So I don't want to stop again. I want to go down and I would have loved to just fill up this morning and then just go down, but I was checking out the price again there later on and it was like $2.33 a gallon over there and it's like the two seventeen there further down the road there at the, at the pilot. So this was a pilot as well there in Tennessee. So I figured that's more than $0.10 cents a gallon cheaper, so that uh, is very much worth driving a few miles down the road, you know. Especially since I do have the fuel to get there. Can you guys see the uh, rocket ship on the camera already? I hope you can. It's right over here to the right. We'll be going by it here fairly soon. Yeah, we stopped in there last time and we had a nice little uh, video of it. We went right up to it. Should be able to see it good now. Yep, there you go. We are by it now. Anyways, we've gone this stretch of highway a couple of times already, but uh, as far south as we are going this time in Alabama, I don't know if I ever shown that part on video yet. I think that's all going to be new for uh, you guys. I think I've been there before. I won't say 100% for sure, but I think I have been down there before. And so, uh, so yeah, we'll uh, just continue on cruising and uh, see what kind of goodies we will be able to show you today. This is it, guys. We got to make our exit up here and uh, go fuel up, right? That's what we've been talking about for a while. Yeah. We got a little bit of a... Pilot truck stop just down the road here. I've been here before. It's been a long time since I've been here, but I have been here before. Yeah. So, let's go in here and fuel the sucker up. <laughs> you have Looks arrived like at we your got an open spot here. Right oh, Pilot travel center number 441. All right, RJ, you go ahead and scream at him. You tell him. That's right. Yeah, I remember this place. Yeah, this is a really, really tight one too. To park anywhere, you know. But voila! Look at that. We got an open spot. We're gonna take that. Yep. We'll fill her up with go-go juice. We'll be back. Alrighty, guys, we have gotten our go go juice. Yep, we definitely did. That's 
for sure. So now we gotta get back on the highway. Get some miles in be behind us, right? Take the entrance to the right. Like nine fourteen right now. AM. And uh, we have planned to make a uh, live show at 12 o'clock today, so I guess that leaves us 10, 11, 12, uh, about two and three quarter it's hours. Feet. Take the entrance we to the right on by 65 South. So that'll be about 200 miles. Yep. No, not 200 miles. No, no, no. That'd be more like 180 miles, maybe. 170. No matter what, we got our fuel and we did really good on this tank of fuel. We really did. 7.62 US miles per gallon. Now that is really good. I'm very happy about it. Yep, we got 339 miles to go. To our final destination. Yeah. So let's put the hammer down and uh, see where we get to stop next. And hopefully we uh, have a good internet so we can do our live show. I know this has already happened last week when you, uh, by the time you watch this video, it's already passed. But uh, hey. It's okay, we can still talk about it, right? I actually enjoy doing live shows. It gives everybody a bit of an opportunity to interact with me, ask me questions that you guys have, get to know me a little bit better, you know, no matter what. You can ask me whatever, right? And I'll try and answer it. And uh, that's, uh, that's the way I go about it. I love talking to you guys. Especially if I can interact with you guys like life like that where you can ask me questions You get to know me a little bit better. I think that's fantastic that uh, YouTube has the opportunity Or lets us do that, you know Because that way uh, we can build a relationship more or less, you know We can get closer to your viewers We can get closer to uh, the person that you're actually watching, you know. And I think if you can build a nice relationship with your viewers, they're going to follow you closer, you know. Anyways, enough of that. Let's get down the road and see what happens today. Alrighty, guys, we are getting ready to make a pit stop. Yeah. That's very true. We gotta make a pit stop. That's right. In 900 feet, turn I left on Black Elk Nature and Harold Inch Trail. Right. I'm USA, rather be in this lane. Approaching destination. In 0 0.2 miles. Alright. We got a truck stop up here to the left. It's supposed to be a TA truck stop up here. So we'll go over to that uh, TA truck stop and uh, do our live show. It's 12 o'clock right now, so we'll be uh, doing a live show here in a few minutes. We'll probably be a few minutes late, but hey, it's okay. As they say, better late than never, right? <laughs> Just gotta wait till this light changes so we can go to the truck stop. That's right. Hey guys, we've been cruising along here for a good while after we did our live show and uh, we got a look like a Tennessee River or something coming down here that we're going over and looks like the Louisiana area, you know, everything is a little swampy and a lot of water up here and I just thought this looks kind of cool and interesting and uh, figured I would uh, I would show you this a little bit. Looks like we got uh, another big bridge up ahead of us there, you know. Look at that water there to the left between the bridges. Hey, those posts are completely in water. 
they must have them posts really deep otherwise I, I think they would be sinking eh? what do you guys think they would be sinking right I think so anyways let's have a look and see how this bridge is going to be up here I don't know how big of a river we got up here but uh, looks like we might have another small river up here this doesn't look too big of a bridge so let's check it out let's see if I can read this sign fast enough and we will know what kind of river it is this one says what does it say I can't say it Mufflin Lake Mufflin, Mufflin Lake or something like that yeah, it doesn't look like a lake to me but it's a river <laughs> maybe there's a lake somewhere yeah there's another one there Oh, this one actually says river this one doesn't say uh, lake so uh, I was kind of thinking where did they get the lake name from oh my that's still continuing that's a long way wow I, I think I've been down here before once or twice but it's been such a long time it's even interesting for me but anyways guys we uh, we gotta go we'll talk to you guys a little bit later well guys I just saw another quite interesting bridge that we're going up right now and I just thought well I gotta turn on my camera and show you guys this because this is fairly interesting this would be uh, in my opinion a, a good interesting uh, video to watch you know look at that we're uh, we're on top of the bushes right now yeah look at that we can look right over everything now that's a pretty tall bridge for a little tiny river like that <laughs> wow there might be a bigger river or a lake or whatever down there further down yet but mobile river that's what this one is called mobile river well it looks like even like a hanging bridge or whatever no maybe not anyways i just have to show that to you guys i wanted to tell you something else i had something real interesting happening there earlier today and I forgot to mention it today uh, on my video yet. I had a had a four wheeler up there earlier. He uh, he was driving about I would say about a quarter of a mile ahead of me, and uh, I'm just keeping my distance you know, in the right lane. Everything good, you know. Just cruising along, and all of a sudden he slams on his brakes, and I'm like, what is he doing? You know. And, I had to slam on my brakes and real hard. I had to brake really hard. And as I got closer, I all of a sudden noticed that uh, his hood was <laughs> had come open, you know, and it came right in front of his windshield and uh, he couldn't see out of his windshield. So that was quite interesting. Yeah, so I just had to tell you that little story there and uh, nothing happened. I got real close to him, but uh, I was able to stop and uh, timely matter so we didn't hit him another four-wheeler behind me there he uh i think he scared his pants off you know he uh he uh, had to go take the shoulder otherwise he would have probably rear-ended me because that's how fast we had to stop but uh hey that's the way it goes sometimes as a trucker you know you go down the road and the next thing you know something happens but anyways that's about it we'll be back later Alrighty guys, we are done for today. Look at that, we are backed up to the dock. Yeah. We gotten some pretty good rain here in the last little while. Seems to be clearing off now. But they got a nice light over here, so it's nice and bright over here, so we don't have to really worry about anything too much. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a weird dock that they got here, but you can see they pretty much just have like an open type deal dock yeah wheels must be shocked before loading and unloading do not climb on or jump off the dock oh okay well i guess we know that then but yeah it's a fairly nice big place up here there are some other companies uh on these buildings too and uh, yeah just walking around out here have enjoying the beautiful breeze out here you know it's just absolutely gorgeous gorgeous weather out here yes it is we've been here for quite a while already what did we get here yeah, quarter after four i think that's when we got here yeah, i've been editing some videos together i was like a couple of behind so put two of them together already and uh, the last one is uploading right now to youtube 
Yeah, so I just figured I'd show you guys a little bit what we're up to. It's nice and quiet over here. No other trucks are up in this yard right now. Nobody's idling. Nice and peaceful, quiet. Yes, it is. Anyways, we are going to cut this for today. I hope you enjoyed it all. And be sure to stick around for tomorrow because you don't know what comes up tomorrow. So we'll see you then. Have a good one. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come.